in the fed state or after eating, blood glucose levels increase, which acts as a stimulus on pancreatic beta cells to release insulin. Blood levels of insulin then rise, which acts as a signal on target tissues, including the liver, fat, and muscle to take up glucose from the blood, thereby reducing blood levels of glucose and helping to maintain glucose within a normal homeostatic range. Now, the importance of glucose and insulin during aging is illustrated by the finding that calorie-restricted animals have lower levels of glucose and insulin throughout their lifespan. And this is thought to be one reason why calorie-restricted animals live longer, have an increase, significant increases for average and maximal lifespan. But this may only be half of the equation in terms of glucose and insulin for extending lifespan. And the other half of that involves fasting. So note that calorie-restricted mice eat almost all of their food within a very short window so that they fast on a daily basis up to 21 to 22 hours per day. So why is that important? Well, during prolonged fasting, that also impacts blood levels of glucose, which decline. The decline for blood glucose then acts as a signal on pancreatic alpha cells to release glucagon. Glucagon levels rise in the blood, which then acts as a signal for the liver to break down stored glycogen, converting it into glucose, which is then released into the blood and thereby helping to maintain blood levels of glucose, again, within that normal homeostatic range. Now, the importance of glucagon and correspondingly prolonged fasting in this equation is that glucagon signaling is required for the lifespan extending effect of calorie restriction, which is what we'll see here. These data come from a recently published paper, and if you're interested in checking out the paper, it'll be in the video's description. On the y-axis, we've got percent survival, and that's plotted against lifespan or days alive on the x. In terms of who was alive and who had died, we put up a red line at 50% survival. At that time point, half the mice had died and half were still alive. And right away, we can see that for one of those groups, half of the mice had died. And that's the GCGRKOCR. What does that mean? Calorie-restricted glucagon receptor knockout mice. So these were mice that were calorie-restricted that had their glucagon receptor knocked out in all tissues. And then correspondingly, there is no intracellular glucagon signaling in any of those tissues. On the other hand, we can see that all mice that were calorie restricted, but that had functional glucagon receptors were all still alive. So from these data, we can conclude that glucagon signaling is required or essential for the lifespan extending effect of calorie restriction. So what does this mean? Can we translate this or potentially translate this into people? Well, when considering that calorie-restricted mice fast for the majority of the day, 21 to 22 hours, and prolonged intraday fasting can increase blood levels of glucagon, it then raises the question, will calorie-restriction plus fasting maximize lifespan of people? In other words, just being calorie-restricted may not be enough for the average and maximal lifespan extending effect of calorie restriction. Fasting may be a part of this equation or a big part of this equation. If you've ever wondered what's optimal for biomarkers, we'll have a new Patreon tier dedicated specifically to that. It currently includes the 35 biomarkers shown here, more than two hours of video content, 52 published references, and these aren't the reference ranges which you can get from L any LLM. This is what may be optimal for each biomarker based on how they change during aging and or associations with all-cause mortality risk in the largest published studies that exist. So if you're interested in that, check it out. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon, where I offer blood test consults and post at least twice per day in four other Patreon tiers. We've also got a whole bunch of discount and affiliate links that you can use to test yourself that help support the channel, including ultalabtest.com, which is where I get the majority of my blood tests done, clearly filtered water filter, at-home metabolomics, oral microbiome composition, NAD testing with Ginfinity, epigenetic testing with True Diagnostic, at-home blood testing with Cyfox Health, green tea, diet tracking with chronometer, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch, including data is my North Star, figuring stuff out is my drug, and the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying logo as shown here. Link in the video's description. Thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.